Hello. Blind Pew here. Well that was quite a rush wasn't it? Straight through the wormhole onto that ship only to find that it was about to crash land into the local planet. Luckily I managed to get into this escape pod. Better take a look around. That cable looks a bit dangerous. What's this some sort of storage? Hum. A flare. I'd better have that. And the other one. Multi-realizable underwater light source. Interesting. Filtered water and nutrient blocks. I'll have those. Bound to be useful. Okay. What's this? Some sort of medical supply? Can't seem to access it. Self-charging power cells. Do they power all this? The communications relay indicates a message has arrived. Doesn't seem to be working though. Possibly it was damaged in the crash. A fabricator. How interesting. Seems we can make a lot of stuff here. With the right materials. Of course, I've not got any of those at the moment. Aha. It can make drinking water with the right inputs. No doubt that will be important. Needs bleach though. Personal equipment. Tool. Deployables. This fabricator is clearly a key piece of equipment. I'll try and treat it better than normal. My track record is not good. Note to self. Do not destroy fabricator. Pa. Ah. Still no message. Okay, let's get up this ladder. Whoa. There's the ship then. Crashed straight into the sea. Actually, there are only a couple of fires on it. If I can get over there it may be possible to repair and get out of here. Although, looking round here, I can't see any land. Is it all ocean? Some very nice looking coral reefs down there. I must have landed on some sort of coral atoll. Looks like this planet is entirely sea. I've crashed on a water world it seems. Aha. There are some sort of flying creatures up there. That would indicate that this planet is not entirely ocean. There may be some land after all. And look at that red moon. It seems very close and to be moving quite quickly. Looks like it might be tightly bound presenting just the one face to us. Okay. Back down. And where does this hatch go? Ah. Into the sea. Wow. This is really stunning. So. That's what the escape pod looks like. Lucky it was set up for a wet landing. Doesn't look too deep here. But it may drop off ahead. Some sort of limestone deposit. Let's break it off and see what we find. There we go. A lump of titanium. Useful. Whoa. It really is beautiful here. Look at all those alien types of fish. A whole school of them over there. What is that falling rock ahead? Looks a bit creepy off in the distance there. And sounds like there is something larger out there. What's this then? A floater. Unfortunate name. Don't think I want that. Oh, I'm a bit hungry now. Emergency. 10 seconds of oxygen remaining. Whoops. Must keep an eye on oxygen reserves. Looks like I have a reserve of 45 seconds. Escape pod gives off a homing signal I see. Very useful. Come here alien fishy. How do I catch it? Oh, just grab it. Let's put it through that fabricator thing. Knife and fork icon I assume. Cooked food um tasty. Night time approaches my systems say. Ah. You can do cured food as well. Presumably lasts longer. Yes, very tasty. But not that filling it would seem. 
Might need a few more of those then. Uh oh. It's night. The luminous coral looks very nice but I'm too scared to swim in that. Let's take a look from up top. Whoa. That red moon looks really moody. I really don't fancy swimming around in this light. There could be all sorts of unpleasant things out there. Down we go. I suppose I'll have to have a look around or I'll get too thirsty and hungry. It'll stay close to the pod though. My word, what was that? Sounds like something very large is off in the distance. Some of these small fish are actually easier to see at night it seems. Let's head some more food. Yes. Although this sort does not look that appetizing. Calculating risk assessment, death by malnourishment, 7%. Reassuring. By physical injury, 11%. Okay. By exposure to radioactive crash site materials, 19%. Less good. If the drive core is breached, probability of death increases to 65%. Let's hope that doesn't happen then. Frying tonight. Okay, it's morning now. I've been checking out this reef immediately below the pod. Look at these weird tubes. Are they coral, or some sort of remains? Warning, local radiation readings exhibit characteristics consistent with total degradation of the Aurora's dark matter drive core. The quantum detonation will occur with a probability of 85.5%. Advise observing a 1 km safety range. I think I'll heed that advice. Metal salvage from the crash site. Probably useful. Ah, some more. Looks deep further down there. Hey, look at those column things off in the distance. That looks unusual. Quartz. Not sure what that can be used for. Oh look. I can dig under the sand. Wonder if anything is hidden. Nope. Purple fan coral. Looks very nice. Emergency. 10 seconds of oxygen remaining. Oops. Failed to check my O2 again. Aha. More metal salvage. Lovely. And yet more. Fantastic. Hey. What's that? Let's take a look. Hum. Can't seem to grab these. Some sort of alien barnacle? Deja vu. Emergency. 10 seconds of oxygen. Oh no remaining. disaster. I must get out there. No. That leads deeper in there. Go. Go. Out of air. Blacking out. Go. Phew. That was too close. Let's see what we can do with all that metal salvage we picked up. Four pieces of titanium from each. Hey, I've got loads of this stuff. And yet more. And I can make titanium ingots. Not sure what they are for but let's do it. Again. I can make oxygen tanks. Need glass though. Emergency. Uh -oh. Seismic readings suggest a quantum detonation has occurred in the Aurora's drive core. Doesn't sound too good. Central dark matter reactor will reach a supercritical state. 
in T minus 10, 9, Whoa. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Oh. Oh no. That's torn it then. There goes the quick repair idea. Ah, there was some radiation with that shockwave. Right. Looks like I may be stuck here a tad longer than originally anticipated. Yes. Definitely not a fixer-upper anymore. Disappointing. Oh well. Aha. I spy some more metal salvage. Let's pick it up so we can fabricate some oxygen tanks. Lovely. Wit. What are those creatures? They don't look aggressive luckily. Hey. What? No. I'm taking radiation damage. Must be from the ship. I've strayed to near. Must get away. Uck. I'm still being damaged how far do I need to get away? Oh no. I'm running low on oxygen now. Of oxygen remaining. Oh yes. I am a bit too near. Health at 30% now my sensors tell me. Come on. Surely I'm outside the irradiated area now. Got to get away. Come on. Thankfully that looks like I am safe. Down to 24% health. Not good. Not good at all. That's a lesson learned. I'll need to avoid that in future. Where is it? Yes. Equipment zero to tank. A welcome extra 30 seconds of air. The glass I fabricated from to quartz. Hum. I could also make air pipes. No. O2 tanks are more use. Fabricate. Nice one. Oh. I can make another. Shall I? Dare I? Why not 105 seconds of air now versus the 45 seconds I had before? Should make a big difference. Hey, look at all this other personal equipment you can make. Still suit to preserve water. Reinforced dive suit. Radiation suit. That would be useful. Fins. First aid kit. Scanner. Flashlight. Survival knife. There is so much here. I need to get a lot of this made as soon as possible. Especially the radiation suit if I want to get near to that ship. But that will have to wait for my next transmission. Until next time. Good luck commanders. And I'll see you out there.